Hi guys, this is Carmen. So a very quick tutorial to show you how to use the SEO score um, plugin. So while you're in your platform in Empower Network, you're adding a new post. The first thing that you want to do is choose your keyword. So in order to do that, you have to go to the keyword tool. You go to the keyword tool, it belongs to Google. And you just choose a keyword that pertains to your blog. So I just wrote a blog on making a decision. So I wrote make a decision. Usually there's a CAPTCHA code here that uh, you're going to have to fill out. I just did it earlier, so it's not asking it again. You have advanced filters here. You can decide to do it in another country of your choice if you want to market to a specific country. Change the language if you need to. I sometimes write in French, so that's where I would change it. And you do search. So as you see here, make a decision has low competition and that's what you want to look for, low competition. And you want to have a good enough global monthly searches and local monthly searches. So in this case, it's actually a good one. But you see here, making a decision is low competition as well, but has 1 million global monthly searches. It may seem like it is more, um, interesting but in fact when you left click on it you go to google search you will see that here we have 586 million results that's what you're competing with and making a decision at 1 million you have 1 billion 400 million other results so you're competing against that the other thing is that with this kind of keyword making a decision it is usually used very loosely in the results see ma decision making how to make a difficult decision so the results are very varied what you can do to get a bit more accurate um, in more accurate information about how make a decision is going to perform you actually take off broad in match types right here and you put exact and it's going to redo the search and you see here make a decision has 3600 global searches and making decisions which was previously a million is now 2,400 global monthly searches. So it's actually better to use make a decision. So we'll close that and we'll use make a decision. So I put make a decision here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that make a decision, that keyword is used in your title. So make a decision and see results. So here, if I save draft right away, you will see that I already have my H1 tag containing my keyword. I also have a keyword in the first sentence. It also happens to be the last sentence because I haven't written anything, but we have some of the items that are already checked. So I'm not going to stay in here. I'm actually going to go to the other post that I created previously as I was doing a recording for you and got rudely interrupted by the message that said that I passed my 15 minutes. So um, here, I wrote this thing. I was just writing out how I was doing things. So I put the make a decision, see what happens in the title. I did, I put in some text here. I put in a header. This header is actually heading two. And actually, if you're just starting on the platform, you're probably seeing this. The second line, the second row of icons is in there. So all you have to do is click on this, sec uh, this last icon and you'll get that. So you go on the sentence that you want to use as a header and you have the choice of doing header one, two, three, and more. Now, one, you don't need to use it anymore because you already used it in your title. Heading two and heading three are just size differences. So you can play around with that and make your post look pretty while having um, 
larger headings for shorter sentences that you want to pop out like a title and heading three can be just uh, the types of headers that you want to use to um, kind of out have the outline little headers to introduce your next paragraphs to make it more aesthetically uh, comfortable to the eye so all you have to do is highlight it and choose what heading you want there as you're writing every time you use the set of keywords remember to put italics bold or underline although in the SEO keyword uh, plugin the underline doesn't work properly it doesn't mean that Google will not see it it just doesn't work in here you will always see an X so don't worry about that you will never score hundred percent and that's fine so then this is a header three I just decided to use a header three in here continued writing you don't have to put bold italics or underline on that keyword only you can use the um, that format for a whole sentence or a segment of a sentence to make it stand out and that makes it prettier as well um, to uh, the person reading it and it, it makes it it makes it the segment of the sentence the phrase stand out because that's pretty much what you're talking about and you want the idea to stand out to the reader so you just continue you put more text and um, at the end I usually use the call to action so at the end I wrote I urge I urge you I'm I have a word missing here to make a decision right now so see here I put the keyword again make a decision and here I decided to use heading three and now this I'm going to delete it and put it and put it back in for you just for you to see how I'm doing it and that will um, take care of this SEO keyword guideline right here your images have alt tags set to your keywords so the way to do it is to go where you want to place it and you go to add media now you have to upload files to get images in there let's say I want to add this one get started now the way to do this is that you have the title the title doesn't really matter the alt text here has to contain your keyword so each time you put a post even if you're putting the same image each time you're going to change the alt text to have your keyword and over here you have the link so I actually have an Excel file with all my links and here I have the commission loophole here I just take that copy close and paste it right here and insert into post this is a little big for me so I'll just make it a little smaller update and all done so now I just save the draft and you'll see here I don't even have enough words I already have 74.44 score with make a decision whatever is in red means you're not good enough your score is not good enough so all you have to do is just add more of whatever checklist is missing and you'll get a higher score I'm going to show you the post that I wrote earlier with make a decision so here it is what is possible when you make a decision I got an 80 score I didn't have enough keyword density that's something that I needed to work on I also added tags and in my tags I also had the word decision it's always good to have your keyword in your tags as well and I just want to show you what it looks like if I view post you'll see how the headers look like see your h1 is your title then you go down this is your h3 this is your h2 and what I did these are the the bolds and the italics this is the h3 I split my paragraphs with h3s to make them more aesthetically comfortable to the eye for the reader and at the end I put another h3 here make a decision to succeed that's in bold and I have my call to action and there we go and that's how you use your SEO keyword plugin SEO score plugin so I hope that was helpful and um, if you need any help just 
right on our Facebook group page and I'll be uh, happy to help you.